Charlotte, North Carolina, number two, Will Thomas. At the end of the year, Coach Charles Creek, Georgia, number three, Matt Dono. The class of 18 contenders were drafted to Georgia, number four, Luke Seabaugh. At the end of the year, Josh Beckford from Paysville Green, Alabama, number nine, Gary Norton. At the end of the round, Chris Middle from White Bear Lake, Minnesota, number 24, Tim Blake. A sophomore forward from Hoover, Alabama, number 27, Alex a sophomore defender from Roswell, Georgia, number 42, Chris Humphrey. A sophomore attacker from Fall Brook, California, number 60, Caden Gross. A junior midfielder from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, number 92, Jacob Ozy. And a sophomore attacker from British Columbia, Canada, number 93, Matthew Posey. Now with Alabama at this stage in life, it's a team that starts with junior college and makes it to the NFL. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the University of Montevallo for the first game of the men's lacrosse season. The Falcon faithful are taking on University of Indianapolis here at the lacrosse field. The Falcons win the faceoff here to start and are quickly on offense. Go over the starting 11 for you real quick. First with UND. As UND looking to get this successful clearing attempt here, which they will do. So now Indianapolis on the offense now. Back to the lineup, we've got number two, Seamus Faulkner. Number three, Justin Williams. Number seven, Trevor Lockwood. Number 11, Tristan Schaefer. Number 14, Nathan Lamb. Number 16, Brandon Nemeth. Number 21, Owen Braddock. Number 24, Casey Carlson. Number 31, Sam Pozovich. And number 46, Dougie Crawford. And now the starting lineup for the Falcons. We have senior number two, Will Summer. That one's going to roll out the back, but still will be with you, Indy. It's a chilly, rainy evening here at Montevallo. So not a usual day for lacrosse here in the south, but it is a great evening nonetheless to have a great game. So again, rolling with the inch, the lineups. We got number three, Max Citrano. Number four, Luke Hennibal. Number nine, Gary York. Number 24, Ben Bolt. In goal, number 27, Alex Egorson. Number 42, Chris Humphrey. Number 80, Caden Chalute. Number 92, Jacob Obi. And then number 93, Matthew Bose. So 
So eight seconds will go on to the shot clock. Run it down and stick here. As I said, first game here for the Falcons at home. So the first game of the season is the home opener. And quickly, UND scores the goal. That is number 14. Nathan Lamb on the goal there for UND getting them started here today. Falcons last year had a bit of a rough going. They were coming off a great, another great successful season, but fell short in the conference playoff tournament. And right away, UND steals it and puts it back in the goal. That was number 26, unassisted. Number 26 winning the immediate face-off and just blitzing straight to the goal, uncontested, and puts it right in. And that puts UND up real quick here, two to nothing. And movement. And UND moved a bit too early on the face-off there, which goes towards the Falcons' advantage. They're working it around the goal here, trying to find the opening that they need. So a bit of a scuffle there on the other end, and UND will steal it back. Still waiting to see the successful, the successful clearing. Currently stuck at midfield, but there we go. There's the successful clearing. Oh, trips and falls, and ground ball, and the Falcons scoop it up. Great job there by number 25. So UND steals it right back and get the successful clearing. They're holding up to reset their offense here and set up their play. Forwards. Now they're moving it around in the back end of the goal. Trying to work in and get anywhere close to the crease to get a shot off. And we have a flag. Surely this will be on the Falcons more than likely. But shot off, saved by Igorshin. But again, that will be stopped as the penalty will be on the Falcons. It's going to be a slashing. So it was a slashing and 54 will go sit for a minute here and UND will have a man up here. 
So they're going to take their time, work it around to find their opening and get another goal here to go up 3 nothing, possibly. Eight miss handles it, but he's able to recover the ball. Penalty on number 24, Ben Bolt, slashing one minute. Igor Shin steps up here on the man advantage, and we're going to see another penalty come here. That's going to be on you, Indy. He's number 21. Again, Igor Shin and I believe that was number three. Max Citrano able to stop you Indies man advantage. And now the foul it is back to even strength. Both players that committed penalties are currently still sitting. 21 will now sit there for a minute while 54 surely is just only a couple minutes out. So here we, the Falcons are in the offense. Working it around, trying to find their openings. Clue Chuck. Working on the defender. He slips. It's ground ball and UND has the successful clearing. We are quickly back on offense. Both penalties have been served now. UND working it on the far side of the field. Yeah, I think with the rain today is playing as a factor, a lot of slippages have been happening on all defenders and players, as well as shots are ringing off. Playing a bit of run around, the ring around the rosies there. Great defense here by the Falcons trying to get the ball out, but it's worked in, but Igor Shin saves it, but the pass is errant, and the Falcons trying to get the ground ball, and they do, they're able to get it. That is number 92, who scoops it right up. Jacob Obi getting the ball after the errant pass. Now Obi again with it, trying to work in on his defender, but he passes back out. Trevain Hunter now passing it back forward. Eleven loses the ball. He's going to scoop it forward, but it's going to go right to UND. And shot clock resets to 80. Wendy still trying to look for the successful clearing here. There we go. Works around the defender. Wendy still just up to nothing here. With nearly seven minutes left in the first quarter. The defense even though only allowed have allowed two goals, have been very successful in stopping the UND offense from getting most shots off. And there's Igor Shin again, and that's part of it, is Igor Shin just stepping up in the crease. And doing a great job. And another errant pass. This one coming from 25. But they're able to, the Falcons are able to recover. And now Obi with the ball waiting to get the offense rolling. Passing it back to Trevane Hunter in the corner. 
Now back on to the far side. Trying to work it in here. And a huge misread there. And there's going to be advantage to the Falcons. The ball is going to go back to their possession after number 11 shoved, shoved hit a ball down on the ground. Hunter still trying to work it around. It was an errant pass, but again, OB trying to save it. Scuffle for the ball. And UND does have it right now. The midi, long stick midis now working it in. They're going to get the successful clearing. And now UND will go back on offense. So again, UND is going to try to find themselves another goal here but like I said the Falcons have stepped up here on defense after allowing those first two quick goals there early on in the quarter and, Trev and Alex Igorshin again makes the stop but the pass Aaron again but this time Falcons are scooping it up fight for the ball and they do get it And now we're going to have a timeout called by the Falcons. And we'll be right back here on the Falcon Athletics Network. Timeout, Montevallo.
All right, welcome back for the start of the second quarter here. It's three to nothing for you, Indy, but the Falcons win the faceoff here, but the wet field again, just making it impossible to play in. And so the Falcons slip up there, lose possession, and it goes into UND's hands with Jack Sullivan, who passes to the far side to Trevor Lockwood. Passing it forward now and get the successful clearing. So three goals already rocked off for UND. But Falcons have been able to step up on offense here as well as D. Gorston, even though only allowing the three goals in the first period. And quickly, that was Owen Braddock was able to shake the defender after the ball had fell down. There's a shot from Br Braddock again, and that one he gets to go between the five hole. So that will be no assist, a unassisted goal for Owen Braddock. Goal for UND number 21, Owen Braddock. And so now UND goes up early, or goes up again for nothing here at 14.03 in the second quarter. So again, the Falcons trying, still hunting for that first goal of the 2024 season here. Big scuffle, but UND does come away with it. And Gary York. It gets the ground ball, but there is a penalty, there is a flag. So we will be seeing a penalty here, but who will it be on is the question. It seems that it will be on UND, the penalty will be on UND, so the Falcons will go man up here for a chance to get the goal. So clock, shot clock reset. Foul number 16, Brandon Nemeth for UND, pushing 30 seconds. So Brandon Nemeth will go to the box, sit for 30 for pushing. So the Falcons have got to rattle off a shot here quickly if they want to keep themselves alive here. And there, there was the shot, but that one, Kluchuk in the middle of the shot on his, when he was following through, hit one of the sticks and Huge hit there, and it's going to stick with the Falcons because Sullivan trying to steal the ball. But now it changes over and will be U Indy's ball instead. So waiting, ref waiting to get the play underway as mass substitution comes in for both sides. This is Eason Ong. He hands it off at midfield. And now you and Indy. Trying to do some work to put themselves up by even more than they are currently. And again, the wind and rain picking up again here. It's only early February and we're already getting spring weather. But the cold still sticks with us for winter and that one goes bar down for a goal. That looked to be number five. 
unassisted goal for number five, Nick Lutweiler. The goal for UND number five, Nick Lutweiler. Calgary, Alberta. And so now UND will move to five to nothing here at 12.38 left to play in the second quarter. So Falcons, again, earlier in the first quarter were playing great defense, but now it's starting to slack off a bit here. And they're, they're getting the opportunities on offense, but just not taking the advantages. And so Falcons do win the faceoff, but this will change possession and it will be but it will now be change of possession into UND. Now working it in on the far side, get the successful clearing here. And quickly dashing to the back end of the goal. Igorshin standing close to that near side post on the crease. Number three works in, get the shot off, and another goal for you, Indy. That was, that was Justin Williams, the graduate goal for you, Indy. Number for three, you, Justin Indy. Williams. He it looked very clear from this side of the field that he was uncontested and was easily just able to walk right in. And so now, you, Indy, goes up six to nothing. So three quick goals put you in getting you in the up here. Face off one by you in these Kayla Parker. Parker to Sullivan. Sullivan dashing at midfield, just gonna dump it back to Dylan Braddock. Now, it's with Bo Howard. Bo Howard works it into the back end, back out to Schaefer. Schaefer trying to work it on hit a ball, but hit a ball just not letting anything happen, and that's going to go out and still be with the with you, Indy. So the Greyhounds here. Trying to work it in, get another goal. Does not go, great stop. I think Igor Shin's gonna be happy about his right post there. And so they get it out. But bad Aaron passes again is what's gonna plague this clearing attempt. So unsuccessful clearing for the Falcons and now it's gonna possibly be a successful clearing for, and it will be a successful clearing for the Greyhounds and they're quickly on offense again. Greyhounds working it in on the far side now up to midfield. Lutweiler pass it off to Howard. Now it's with Dylan Braddock over on the far side trying to get it back, but there's going to be a flag that will possibly be a push on hit a ball. No, that's on number 44. That's on James Godfrey for pushing, and it will be a 30-second penalty, and the Greyhounds will go up, go man up here. Penalty on out of bounds, number 24, Ben Bolt, pushing 30 seconds. Or excuse me, that was number 24, Ben Bolt, on the push. And so now under 10 minutes to play here in the second quarter, you, the Greyhounds on the man up. With Schaefer now. And another shot ripped 
from way back, number 21, Owen Braddock, getting his second goal of the game. So Owen Braddock getting the goal there, assisted by number eight, Nick Rangard. And now UND finds themselves up seven to nothing here in a month of Alabama, nine Goal for UND, and number 31, Owen seconds. Braddock. So, correction again, that was number 44. Assist to number eight, Nick Rangard. So, the penalty was correct. It was number 44, James Godfrey, for the push. And I believe we're going to have a timeout here for the Falcons. Or actually, we're going to take an official timeout as the shot clock on the far end has fallen over. And if you can't hear through the mic, you can very much tell that it is windy. Camera shaking all around. Like I said, getting that good old spring weather here in early winter February. Mix it in with the cold 45 degrees. We'll have the face off here. York and Caleb Parker. So again, the Falcons still hunting that first goal of 2024. Igor Shin stops it from rolling out the back end. And it will be Montevallo who maintains possession. And stolen away by number 31, Sam Puzovic, but he couldn't get the shot. He got the shot off, but it was Aaron. And we're going to have. We're gonna have a penalty on Schaefer for the Greyhounds. So man up advantage for the Falcons. So push for Caleb Schaefer and we're gonna have another 30 second Man advantage for the Falcons. Penalty on UND number 11, Tristan Schaefer pushing 30 seconds. So quickly the Falcons need to find one here. Kluchuk gonna dump it back to Hunter. Hunter and Kluchuk, the two big ones here, but Hunter couldn't get that one to go. He did get an opportunity at the five hole, but that rolls out, but luckily OB was the closest and it will maintain possession for the Falcons. So OB gets it to Hunter again now to Kluchuk. Kluchuk and Hunter working it here together. Bowes rattled a shot off but didn't get it to go and now the Greyhounds steal it and possession swings their way and clock goes back up to 80. So now the Greyhounds working it in on the far side now into the middle for the successful clearing. And Schaefer, who just had that penalty, now has the ball here on the near side of midfield. Gets it to Dylan Braddock. 
Now, Luke Weiler working in on the defender. Dylan Braddock slips. But able to maintain possession on the ball and then gets it out. To Howard. Now Lutweiler. Under 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lutweiler trying to bully his way in there on the defender. But now it's passed back out to Howard. Howard rattles the shot in, but big save by Igor Shin and Igor Shin. Again, as I said, bad passing has plagued the team today. But luckily, number 60, Caden Shullet, able to scoop that one up. So clearing successful for the Falcons, and now they're trying to work in on offense to rattle off another shot here. Pass up to number 17, Zach LaVerge. Now back down to Chalot. Chalot's going to... Chalot loses control, but... And the possession will go in the favor of the Greyhounds. Now the pass to Schaefer. Schaefer gets around his defender. Throws a bounce shot, but it's going to go out and still be the Greyhounds ball after a diving attempt by... Godfrey to try to keep it in possession of the Falcons, but again, Greyhounds now on offense still. Here's a shot, and Igors, Igorshin makes another great save off, it looked like that just hit his stick. And so now the Falcons looking to get the clearing here. That was Jake Travis trying to save it, and a level, one of the Falcons is leveled. And that was Chowlett, and Chowlett was a bit slow, a little bit upset about getting hit there, but it will still be in Falcons, the Falcons' possession. So Clue Chuck. Matthew Bowes, Jake Obi, Trevane Hunter. Coleman Hargis. And Anthony Covillo are currently on the offensive. We see Kluchuk and Hunter, the two here on the near side. Covillo was trying to work in there, but he dumps it off to Clue Truck and now over to Hargis. Covillo now on the far side working on his defender. Has to dump it back to Hargis. Now to Clue Truck. Back to the top to both, but now it's Kluchuk again. He's going to try to work to the inside on his defender. He's able to get free, and he scores! Jackson Kluchuk works around his defender and rattles off the first goal for the Falcons here to start the 2024 season. Goal for Montevallo, number seven, Jackson Kluchuk. And a goal here in the last, under the last five minutes to play here in the second quarter. So now the score reads seven to one. So set to face off again will be Caleb Parker and Gary York.
York wins the faceoff, trying to keep it safe, and then he will dump it off to Bose. So again, Kluchuk will get credited with the goal there. Bose passes it off to number 17, Zach LaVerge. Now it's with Ovi. Ovi passing it out to number 11, Zach Reed. So it's Reed. Trites new into the game as well as LaVerge after the goal. Pass to LaVerge. LaVerge dangles, fakes, and scores! Number 17, Zach LaVerge gets the goal. The senior from Winnipeg, Canada. Goal for Montevallo, number 17, Zach LaVerge. Assist by number 11, Zach Reed. So the goal goes to Zach LaBerge. Assisted by number 11, Zach Reed. The two Zachs putting together a great goal there. So now the score, two to seven. Ball start on the Greyhounds and quickly the Falcons are back on the offensive after rattling off two goals. So Ryan Andrews, the new man on the field. Same lineup, bad pass, but Covio is there to pick it right back up. And now he's working on Sullivan. And Covio slips. And now there's a scuffle, and Sullivan wins it. And play has been stopped. And so clock will reset after after goalie Casey Carlson hops on it. A lot of the Falcon faithful fans here questioning that call. Sullivan. Trevane Hunter stick comes apart. Coach Jason Lange getting visibly upset over there on the far side at the call. So, but again, the Greyhounds now on the offensive. So can the Falcons step up defensively? That one scooped up. That was by 24. That was Ben Bolt, but that goes out on him and will still be possession for the Greyhounds here under 2.30 left to play. So now the Greyhounds trying to work it in on the far side. Owen. Braddock trying to get the hat trick as he is at the two goals right now. Here's a shot, goes past the goal, still possession for the Greyhounds. So shot clock violation will now be the Falcons ball. Igor, Igor. Igor should pass it right up. That's Reed trying to get trying to get his own shot in, but loses the ball and now it's going It's still Falcons ball. 
It went off of number two, Seamus Faulkner. So Bose gets it to LaBurge. Now Trites loses control and that's gonna go out. And now possession will swing to the Greyhounds. So Falcons got rattled off two quick goals and now have gone silent here. And pass stolen away off the ground ball by Hennibal. Quickly pass up to LaBurge. LaBurge rattles a shot, but Carlson makes the save. So now under a minute to play here in the first half. On the, the Greyhounds get the successful clearing on the far side. But number 32, Dalton Green lays down the boomstick, causing one of the Greyhounds to step out, but quickly the Falcons lose possession, and now UND has the ball again. Faulkner trying to work in, spin move, and stolen away again by the Falcons. This is number eight. Nick Givens. And timeout will be called here with under 10 seconds to play. Falcons could have rattled off a shot, but they had a step back. Timeout. Timeout will go to the Falcons with 10 seconds left to play. So with 10 seconds left here, Clue Chuck with the ball, already lost it. That was number 33 for the Greyhounds who knocked it out. And that's the end of the first half here at Montevallo. Score two to seven. We'll be right back here on the Falcons Athletic Network after the half.
Welcome back to the University of Montevallo Lacrosse Complex. We're about to get ready for the start of the third quarter. Falcons down by five here. The Greyhounds leading seven to two. And the Falcons initially won the face off, but the Greyhounds stole steal away off the ground ball. And now the successful clearing for the Greyhounds puts them on offense here. Some key players from, or the real key from U Indy was number 21, Owen Braddock. He sits at two goals right now, looking to rattle off a third for the hat trick. But he hasn't been the only one. The other five goals coming from several different Greyhounds. The two goals from the Falcons coming from Jackson Kluchuk, one of the big players from last year, and then number 17, Zach LaBerge. So here early. We, st we stepped away and it somehow managed to drop another degree colder. Owen Braddock, as I said, trying to work it, and there it is. Braddock scores, and he will get the hat trick for the day, his third goal for UND. So it's going to be two to eight now for the Greyhounds. Goal for UND, number 21, Owen Braddock. So two to eight here, really only a minute pass away. York wins the face off. He had to dash back to his own zone, but now he's quickly into the offensive side. So he gives it off to Bose. Now down low and a goal scored. And the Falcons answer quickly to Braddock getting his hat trick. That one's gonna be to Number 44, that looked like James. It will be goal scored by the long stick midfielder, James Godfrey. So the assist goes to number 17. Goal for Montevallo, number 44, James Godfrey. So again. Goal goes to number 44, James Godfrey. An assist Assisted. from number 17, Zach LaBerge. Assist by Zach LaBerge. UND wins the faceoff here. It's three to eight now. Something has sparked the Falcons for sure coming out of the locker room. But Nonetheless, UND now working at it again on the offense. Over there with Schaefer. Schaefer goes to pass and Miss Hendleton has to scoop, do the scoop roll out to his teammate. Dylan Braddock. Two brothers from East Lansing, Michigan. And Luthweiler tried to get a shot off, but a couple sticks in lane causing him to get it offline. But still retains the possession as the Greyhounds. Now a quick pass to his little brother Dylan Braddock, but Igor Shin makes the save. Now Schaefer gets a shot off and another save by Igor Shin. And Igor, Igor Shin's going to take his check down and get it off to number 21. That's Nick Gacka. And now successful clearance from the Falcons and trying to get the down low pass. So Jalut goes errant and goes out. And will be UND, the Greyhounds ball. Sullivan trying to get it up to get the successful clearing. Slipped. 
ground ball. Waiting for the call. There is a pen. There is a flag, so we're gonna have a penalty. It's gonna be a push. Seems to be a push on the Falcons. It's gonna be on number 24, Ben Bolt. So Ben Bolt with the minor push, gonna go for 30 seconds. So it'll be on Montevallo, number 24, Ben Bolt holding 30 seconds. And mine the call will be holding, still on Ben Bolt, will be sitting for 30 seconds here. So man advantage for for the Greyhounds as we wait the whistle here. So UND just passing it around at the top. Now back down low. Shot fired off and it goes out, but they still will retain possession. Now, Pozovic, it's sticking with the Greyhounds as Pozovic was the closest. Another shot rattled off by Braddock, goes wide, still man, it, man, man up here for the Greyhounds. Pozovic again passing it to Schaefer now. Now, Braddock. Braddock gets taken down, rattles off shot, but Igorshin makes the save. It's a successful clearing for the Falcons. Schultz on the far side, giving it over to 58. That is Samuel Martin. Now, Chalu again. Pass back to Chalu, now to number 40. That was Jetty Miller, but Jetty Miller couldn't make the save, but Jetty Miller trying to step up defensively and steal it. And it's going to be a foul on the Greyhounds and will be Falcons ball. So LaBurge at midfield with it. Give it over to Zach Reed. Reed and Zach Reed and LaBurge combine together to get a goal. The second goal back in the first half. Now LaBurge, stu his stick stuck, was wedged by one of the UND defenders and a penalty will be called here. Igorshin has, while only allowing eight goals, has stepped up massively. He's made 12 saves today. So holding on number. Penalty on UND, number 13, Jack Sullivan holding 30 seconds. So Jack Sullivan will go sit for 30 after being called for a holding on LaBurge. Kluchuk LaBurge. Trite. Hunter and OB on offense here. Kluchuk gets it over to Hunter. Hunter wanted to rip that, but he tries to pass out to Co Covio. Coviella, but pass goes well over Coviella's head and will be possession for the Greyhounds. So Falcons want to look to quickly steal it away here. 
three three guys on one player, but we're gonna have, it's still gonna retain possession towards the Greyhound shot fired by number 30, Bo Howard, that does go. So Bo Howard. So unassisted goal for Bo Howard there, putting the Greyhounds up nine to three here. Goal for you, Indy number thirty, Bo Howard. With under nine minutes to play in the third quarter. So this is Brandon Schaffner here to fit at the face off. But, but Coach Jason Lane and the head official trying to converse and figure out what the call was. Because it seemed like one of the side officials here right in front of us had blew the play dead at one point, but the play just kept going anyways. And there's going to be a flag, and it will be on the Falcons. Sullivan dumps it off to Schaefer. So this is Owen Braddock. Dumps it to number 16 now. Puzovic out to Schaefer. Schaefer has to give it off to number three, Justin Williams, who rips it at the top, but it goes long. And now we'll see the assessment of the penalty from earlier. Looks like it's gonna be a push on number 44, James Godfrey. So James Godfrey will go for go set for a minute for illegal contact to the head. So man up here. For Penalty on Mata Valley, number 44, James Godfrey hit to the head. Igor Shin makes the save. One minute. Igor Shin makes the, another huge save. This one he's going to be able to catch. And so now, even though they have the short, even though they're in the, they're in the short-handed, they're still going to try to kill off this penalty. It's now Kluchuk running around the defense, dumps it off to Coviello. So Coviello now digs in and waits for any help he can receive. And he's gonna dump it down low to Rift at the top, that was number 23, Coleman Hargis. So this is Hargis, Bose, Kluchuk, Hunter, Coviello, and Ovi. The lineup, the, the line that got the initial goal for the Falcons. So Hargis now trying to work in on his defender, try to rattle off another shot, but loses it. Ground ball is picked up, but loses again. Kluchuk trying to get the... 
trying to pick up the ground ball here. He doesn't pass to, to OB, but it's stolen away by the Greyhounds, and now they get the successful clearing. And that is that is another goal for the Greyhounds. Sam Pozovich. Sam Pozovich gets the goal there. Puts you and up now 10 to 3 here. Assisted by number 7, Trevor Lockwood. Goal, you Indy, number 31, Sam Puzlovich. So now set off, to, set to face off again. Montevallo will win the face off after early movement from UND. So now we see LeBurge, Reed, Jake Travis now coming off. OB and Hunter still in there. And that was, that was tried to try to slip and fell. Here's another shot for the Greyhounds by Puzovich, but can't get that one to go and misses just Low and right of the post. So again, your score is 10 to three right now. With UND working it here on the near side with Nathan Lamb. Having to work around the official there. Now Brandon Nemeth, Brandon Nemeth working in. They have to jump back and gets it off to Braddock. Now to Lamb, Lamb throws it back over to the far side. Now it's Schaefer, dumps it back to, that was number 16. They lose the ball and it will now be Falcons possession. Here under five minutes to play. Igorshin with the ball. Passing it forward to Max Citrano. Ryan Andrews has to pass it off to number, that was number 97. And 97. Throws it out of bounds. But now, UND working it in on the far side, getting the successful clearing with with Dylan Braddock. And now Bo Howard, who got, who is currently sitting at one goal today, gets it off to Schaefer. Now over to Neem it back to older brother Dylan Braddock, but Igorshin makes a save. He's going to dish it out to Luke Hennaball, who gets it forward to Coviello. Coviello, freshman from Powder Springs, Georgia. Doubled up by two defenders, loses the ball. And Seamus Faulkner able to get that one up and swings it into motion for the clearing. So successful clearing again for the Greyhounds. Pozovich now with the ball here on the near side, waiting for the subs to come in so he can hand it off to Nathan Lamb. So, been seeing that same lineup for the Greyhounds of Lamb, Bra Owen Braddock, and Braddock. 
records his fourth goal. So Justin Williams will get credited for the assist to number 21, Owen Braddock. So Braddock now, four goals. Goal for you, Indy, number 21, Owen Braddock. Now 11 to three here at 2.30 left to play. Assist number three, Justin Williams. Caleb Parker and York here to face off. Big hit from the Falcons. And that's gonna go out on the Greyhounds and will be Falcons ball here. 11 to three, still your score with 2.10 left to play. Igorshin still holding on to the ball, looking for an open player. Going to try to get it to number eight, Nick Givens, but Givens couldn't catch the ball, goes out, and now it's number 32. Jason Davis gives it off to Brandon Nemeth who's now just gonna hold on to it for a bit and again, wait for the line change. So now Dylan Braddock gets it off to Nick Lutweiler. Lutweiler back over to Nemeth. Now to Schaefer. Schaefer trying to work around, hit a ball. Passing it out to Bo Howard. You Indy has been able to really work it in here and have had fluid pass, pass game. But when do you bring in the environmental factors as well? Rain has been coming down all day. Field has been soaked. And right now the defense just working Hard to stop Lutweiler. And now we've got a, a Greyhound down, slow to get up. Looks to be Nemeth. He is sit, he's just, he's laying down right in front of Igorshin. So the head trainer for you in the for the Greyhounds has came out to check on him. Looked like Nemeth had slipped initially and when he went down, one of the Falcons came in and laid, laid the boom on him. But Nemeth is able to get up on his own power. Gorshin handed him his stick. So when Nemeth is off, play will start with the Falcons having possession. 36 and a half second, 36.5 seconds left here in the third quarter. So we're back into play, Igorshin with the ball. Playing it forward towards number two, that's Will Summer. Summer now trying to work in, gets it over to Coviello. Down to Trevane Hunter, now to number nine, two, Obi. Now Hargis, Kluchuk is in. We've got the big score lineup here. Hunter. Trying to get it back to the top. Over and back on the Falcons. 
And that's going to be end of the third quarter. Your score, 11 to 3, in favor of the UND Greyhounds. All right, so we're ready to get started for the fourth quarter here. And so we're going to have a penalty now within one second of starting the fourth quarter. It's going to be on the Greyhounds. So man up for the Falcons. So face-off violation on Caleb Parker. So 30-second man-up advantage for the Falcons here. Again, going with the score lineup with Hunter, Kluchuk, and Coviello. Ball goes off Coviello now. Penalty on you, Andy, number 26, Caleb Parker. Morgan tried to chase face that one off down. Violation. Now Obi getting it back to Trites now to Coviello now. Kluchuk, Hunter now. Ripped it from the side. That was number 93, Matthew Bowes, who gets his first goal of the 2024 season. So now we'll score 11 to four as the Bowes scored on the man up advantage. Goal for Montevallo, number 93, Matthew Bowes. So now we'll set the face off again. It's Caleb Parker and Gary. Assist for number 22, Trevane Hunter. So they assist. Number 30, Cole Tinger. Cole Tinger does win the faceoff for the Falcons. And so the testing will now change for the Greyhounds. Now it's 15 Eastern Ong who gives it off to Schaefer. Now it's with Puzovich. So now it's the now it's the top line up, top line for the Greyhounds. Played down low to still is played down to Braddock to Owen Braddock, but there's a penalty on the play. More than likely going to be on the Falcons. Or a 
awaiting the penalty call here. So James Godfrey gets called for another contact to the head. This time he's going to sit for two minutes. So you, Indy, has a huge man advantage here. This is the Amata Valley, number 44, James Godfrey. Two minutes. Non releasable. So non releasable. And this is the top line for the Greyhounds. So anything that's going to happen is all the players lost side of the ball confused as where it went as it just only went about three feet in the air above their heads and backwards but again UND still retains possession with their top line with Schaefer Owen Braddock Lamb Randgard and Puzovic out there as well as Justin Williams played down low to Puzovic Puzovic took a shot but Igorshin makes the save as Puzovic trying to do an under, an under toss. Igor Shin, the sophomore from Hoover, Alabama, stepped on up in the crease and now pass up to Kluchuk. Kluchuk working in on the defender, pass over to Bose. Bose had the angle but couldn't get it to go. And it will still be Montevallo's possession Short handed. So Hunter now going to pass it out to Kluchuk. Again, this is Montevallo's top line of Kluchuk, Hunter, Bose, Ovi, Coviello. Coviello makes the, shakes the defender, but the shot goes over the goal. Luckily, Hunter and Kluchuk were far enough back. So now Hunter with the ball. Screen by Coviello. Kluchuk now trying to get it to Obi. Obi does recover the ground ball. And now Hargis pass over to Kluchuk. Kluchuk rips it, but Goes just wide left of the goal. So OB was the nearest man for the Falcons to help retain the possession, trying to pass it to So Jack, Jake Sol Jack Sullivan will pass it over to the far side. Now it's going to be a six. And so it will be a successful clearing for the Greyhounds. Now working it in is... Lamb on the far side, passing it back into Owen Braddock, who is sitting at four goals today. Justin Williams over to Schaefer, and Schaefer rips it right past Igorshin. For the Greyhounds, 12th goal of the day. Goal for you, Indy, number 11, Tristan Schaefer. The assist looks to be coming from number three, Justin assist Williams. Assist from number three, Justin Williams. Their score now, 4-12, to 12, 10 10.33 left to play. Gary York wins the faceoff for the Falcons. Gary fakes the pass. Ground ball stolen away by Sheamus. Shakes a defender. Underhands toss back to Sheamus, couldn't quite handle it. And now, play has been called dead. And it will still be the possession 
of the Greyhounds. So now Schaefer just going to hold on to it. Wait for the line. His line to come out of Luke Weiler and Bo Howard. Still down low is Puzovich and Nemeth. Lamb worked in, got a shot off, but Igorshin makes the easy save. Passes it out to Ryan Andrews. Ryan Andrews dealing with two defenders here of Schaefer and Lamb. And he lost control now. It's on the defensive side for the Greyhounds. They are able to clear and get the successful clearing. And we're going to have a timeout here taken by the Greyhounds. Timeout. So we're back from the timeout from the Greyhounds. Again, it's their top line of Howard, Lamb, Schaefer, Puzovich. Owen Braddock is not in, but either way, several people on this line have a goal in this game. Schaefer is one of them. He has two, rips it low, and goes out. Nemeth in the back will toss off to Howard. Howard works in, passes it to Puzovic, and Puzovic goes bar down. Gets his second goal of the game, and we'll put UND up now, 13 to 4. So, Goal for you, Andy. Number 31, Sam Puzovic. So, goal goes to Sam Puzovic. Assist from number 30, Bo Howard. And the assist will get be given credit to Bo Howard. So, set the pace off is Caleb Parker and Gary York. We got early movement from York, so we'll go to the favor of the Greyhounds, so Sullivan with the ball. See a couple new faces now come in. We got number 19, Connor Majin. Number six, Keegan Lachlan. And number 35, Magnus Solomon. So 
So, Magner, Magan. Working here, dealing with Gaka. Greyhounds working it down low, back up to the front. Nemit trying to work in on Citrano, but Citrano not letting up. And that was Solomon trying to rip it from way deep, but now there's a scuffle for it, and Igorshin will scoop it up, trying to pass it out to Gacha, but Gacha can't make the play, and it goes out on the Falcons. Schaefer now. Just now under seven minutes to play. Schaefer still with the ball, finally going to pass it off to Justin Williams and now over to Dylan Braddock. So the Braddock brothers and Williams, the top line back out there for the Greyhounds. Still with Dylan Braddock, the older brother of the two. Now Owen working in, throw, puts up a shot, but goes just wide right. Puzovic takes it into play now with Owen Braddock. Braddock still working in on the defender. Passed over to Schaefer. Schaefer tried to go low, but that time missing left. And so Owen Braddock bringing it in. Covered by Nick Gaka. Ball comes out. It is a ground ball and Falcons still away. Citrano with the successful clearing. It's going to give it off to Matthew Bowes. Now over to Zach Reed. Reed now playing it to Hunter. Now over to Ovi. You see Jetty Miller now back in. Hunter trying to play off Trevor Lockwood. Now Jetty Miller playing it back down low to Hunter. Hunter working in, pass out to Reed. Reed now over to Bose. Bose to Hunter. Hunter misses just left. Falcons retain possession. OB will bring it in. OB now darting straight to the middle. Give it off to Bose. Bose scores for the Falcons for his second goal of the game. Goal for Montevallo, number 93, Matthew Bose. So Matthew Bose gets his second goal of the game, end of the 2024 season, making the score 5-13 to 13 assist now. Assist number 92, Jacob Obi. Jacob Obi getting credited for the assist there. Face off here between Cole Tanger. So Tanger able to win that one. The pass to hit a ball. Aaron off a hit a ball stick and goes out and will be the Greyhounds ball. Sullivan will take it in. Sullivan dashing back towards the middle. Dumps it off to. Salmon. So under five minutes to play here. That fresh line of Salmon 
and number 19, Connor Magan. So Magan lost control. Now it's with Hennibal. Hennibal trying to play it to Ovi. Ovi has to come back to try to get it back. We do have it's ground ball right now. Timeout called by Lange. So 4:05 left to play. 13 to 13 to five in favor of the Timeout, Greyhounds. Timeout, Montevallo. So here we go, back at the timeout. Top line for the Falcons, Clue Truck, Coviello, Hunter, Bose, Hag, Hargis, and Obi. Obi wanted to look for Hargis there, but Hargis got covered up quickly. Now down to Hunter, now back to the top to Hargis. Hargis trying to work in, plays it back to Clue Truck. Clue truck only one goal today. Rips it anyways, but easy grab there for Col Colson or Carlson. So successful clearing for the Greyhounds now. Schaefer with it. Played it to number 17. That is Mason Rockley, the freshman. Again, this is sort of a freshman lineup now that line that we're seeing now from the Greyhounds. Obviously, head coach Greg Stocks trying to play it safe here with the lead, the big lead that they have. Schaefer now. Schaefer's probably trying to look to get that third goal for the hat trick today. But that is instead that's number six, Keegan Laughlin. He tries to take a shot but misses low on the ground. So 18 seconds on the shot clock. So another download shot from from Magan. Falcons steal it back. Possession. So over and back was called. Pass to 21. Yeah. Scored by Jake Obi. So great pass there from so Obi credited for the goal and Nick 
Gaka. Goal for Montevallo, number 92, Jacob Ovi. So Nick Gacka gets credited for the assist. Assist number 21, Nick Gacka. So now we see Charlotte Bose, Dalton Green, Nicole Tanger, Jetty Miller now in. Pass out to Le Zach LaBurge. LaBurge slows down, tries to dump it out to Jack Reese. And Shalo wasn't able to get there in time. And now it's possession towards the Greyhounds with the shot clock nearly just a second off or a second faster than the game clock. So you Indy may try to play a bit of game of keep away from the Falcons here just to let the game end. But currently fighting over a ground ball right now. Ball does go out and it will be Falcon possession with 46 seconds and left here in the game. So Bose now with the ball, trying to work it around, find a shot for the Falcons. Down low to Shallow, Shallow lost control, but he will be called for a crease violation. So, ball thrown ahead, but it's going to go out, will be... The initial call was for Falcons ball, but then they quickly turned it around and said it was the Greyhounds. And so now this will be the end of the game. Your final score will be 13 to six for the Greyhounds. And that's it. The first game of the season for men's lacrosse ends in the home opener being a loss to the University of Indianapolis Greyhounds, 16-3. Thank you all for tuning in to the Falcons Athletic Network. My name is Aiden Golden, and we will see you next time.